Why is everybody like grunting? Chill. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. In the last episode, Ryder finally becomes a Pathfinder officially as she gets her own ship, her own crew, and finally her first mission to track other worlds. So the first world we're going to is Eos and I'm excited to actually explore because this time around we're not really like a soldier, we're an explorer. So the vibe is totally different and I'm really excited to get to know the other crew members since there's so many of them. But uh, yeah, let's see what's over on Eos and hopefully we can make this a home. They do now, we'll make Eos a home. All right, so we're officially here and yeah, it looks like just construction and everything kind of stopped because there seems to be a problem around here. Let's see if I can find anything. I'm gonna have to, like I said, it's gonna take me a bit to looks get like used salvage. to the gameplay because it's new. so different. Days ago new. Who else is here? We'll find out, Cora. Because uh, it looks kind of empty. You know what this reminds me of? It does remind me of like Eden Prime. Like in Mass Effect 1 when, when we were chasing after Saren and everything. Kind of the same vibe. Like where is everybody? <laughs> getting flashbacks to that. Alright, let's see what's in here. Door is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Okay. Just say we can't open it without codes. <laughs> we can't open it without codes. Alright, so we're gonna need codes, but where the F do we- Oh, what's that? This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Alright, so we have to actually find the codes. I'm assuming it's just somewhere in one of these buildings. And I hear noises, which means something is nearby. Alright, so... Hello? Ah, here we go. What's this? Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Damn, alright, so it looks like nothing is going right around here. Botany analysis. And this is consultant Allison May. New entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth despite the environment that can sandblast paint. I'm starting to suspect the electromagic, uh, electromagnetic trigger. I detect a signal of some kind. Definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate. Vector noted. End log. So they were just like looking at the plants here and uh, yeah, so it seems like exponential growth is the main thing, which can be a good thing, but it's a matter of will we be able to adapt to it? And that's the thing now. All right, I think I got the codes so we can go. I always forget that I have this. I could just go faster. <laughs> All right, got the code. Uh, let's see, any notes or anything? Nothing, right? Just want to make sure, guys, that we're not missing anything. The main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Why does this place look like, look like a huge mess? What the heck happened? Message from Nick Thano... Holius. I am sorry if I said that wrong. People are talking here, saying that Eos is inviable, that things aren't going to or things aren't going to like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what we're going to say. I didn't sign up for the initiative to say trapped on a floating tin can, and I promise you can have your adventure later. When there are more time to when there's more time to plan for your safety. Mom told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it for me and check in more often. I've started to adopt mom's worry. I already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Uh, request for update. Leah Wells. Hello. Sorry if this is the wrong channel, but this is the one they gave me on the Nexus. I'm requesting an update because my friend hasn't checked in for some time. Research. Leah Wells, Research and Development Department, Researcher Assistant 2. She hasn't responded to any of her messages and I'm worried. Please let her know to get in touch with me. 
Hello? Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago and I haven't heard anything back on my end. It looks like the message wasn't even open. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. Yeah, everybody's gone. Okay, so that was their power post? Not sure how that's gonna work, but... Anything else? Some containers? Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Hmm. It goes back to what I was saying in the last video that the cat, I, I feel like they're the ones who cause all the all the planets to become inhabitable for a reason, but I'm hoping we'll find an answer here. I got okay. a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A Freeze. remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. All right, come on, gang. All right, where's this tower at? Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Right. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Yeah, I kind of figured. And it, it's also difficult, too, because when you go to a different planet that, that's not even the same galaxy, how do you know that everything is safe? We're just taking a chance at this Structure point. Ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Okay. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Right. Alright. Let's get in here. If I can get in here, this door open? It's inoperable, Pathfinder. What the hell? Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it. Do I have to, like, climb the building? Buildings. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Right. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm here to help. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Well then let me take care of the Ket! Help me with the power relay and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's on you. He agreed pretty quickly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Expect trouble when we start the generators. You know, I think I have their el helmets off during conversation. See, I don't know what the right um, thing is. Because I remember I was having this problem in Mass Effect Trilogy with Shepard's helmet and I didn't know what to do. So hang on a second. Ryder's helmet, off in conversation, off in gameplay and conversation. As equipped. It's supposed to be as equipped, right? Like, I don't freaking know. We'll see how this goes because like it makes sense because it looks stupid when we go into like a cutscene, they got their helmets off and it kind of like ruins the immersion. So <laughs> if anyone knows like what the right setting is for that, please let me know. I, I want to fix it. Oh, there's one right there. Whoops. All right, so we got to activate the generator. There's an error in the startup okay. sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. God. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Okay. Up there. Glad that I can freaking fly. So we're gonna have to do this, uh, like, restart everything. This is so annoying. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. 
So he's what? Playing hooky? Ah, help! I'm stuck! Or he's a part-time salvager. Right, we don't really know. And, like, also, what did they say? There's a bunch of, like, um... Uh... Exiles everywhere? But I don't know if they would be hanging around here. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Why is everybody, like, grunting? Chill. <laughs> what the fuck? We've got company. Wait, what? Where? Uh... Wait. Oh shit, right there. Okay, um... is ready for activation, Pathfinder. Okay. Right. Can I go up there now? You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. And you didn't take it? Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. It might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Uh, get to a safe location. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Wait, were you offering? Did I just turn him down by accident? <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Well, you know, it's okay. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere See? on the previous planet. See? They have it all on it's these planets! Alright. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Hehe. <laughs> a warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Oh god, when they say vehicle, I get nervous because I did not have now the fun power is restored. driving in Mass Effect. I hated buildings. it. Especially Mass Effect 1, that was fucking terrible. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta scan containers to find it? I'm assuming big containers? To find it? I don't know. What's in there? Hey, there's something in there. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. Alright, we're building again. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what we need. Senior Foreman Andreo for Fernesca. Tried out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if they actually hold together. When the next storm rolls over, at least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shorty's pitching uh, for evac back on the Nexus. Too many cat, not enough water, no hope, he says. I'd rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck than lie awake listening to the storms one more night. Can't say I, I disagree. Losing three of my guys back to the cat made me wonder about leaving too. But I asked him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for pioneers? Isn't EOS what we signed on for? It has to be. End log. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build. By oh, we can actually components. use it! Oh, that's actually sick! Okay! Oh, so we can use it! That's neat! So I don't have to, like, actually go back and forth onto, um... Ooh, N7. N7, you say! But we don't have to go back and forth onto, uh, the Tempest, which is great. 
Let's start with... Let's start with the helmet. I feel like the helmet is the best option. Alright, so there's the N7 helmet and the Pathfinder's helmet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I have to gather things to actually build it. But that's cool that we can actually use this more often than just leaving it like that. I don't think that's it. Special is requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. Wait, is that it? The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Oh, great. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay, so we got it. Call one down. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. Nomads can be called here. Ooh. Ah, okay. Multiple. You know what? Forward station protocol initiated. Okay, cool. Looks Wait. like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Tell me this drives way better. Oh my god. Alright. I'm, I'm kind of scared to get in this thing. <laughs> I'm actually really scared. Oh my gosh. Let's go in. Into the Nomad. Enter vehicle. Cool. Alright. Um. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Okay, let me reverse. Boost. Let's just jump. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we're good. So I can go, right? How the F do I get out of here, though? Is this the road? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Oh, God. Radiation level one. I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. How do you switch to six wheel? Is this six wheel? Oh, cool. Whoa! So you Remember can the switch. Nomads jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off Gil. <laughs> Got it. This is Signals neat. coming from that structure up ahead. Ah, this is it. Okay, safe condition. So those barriers were keeping us safe. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. That was very abrupt, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway. This is interesting. Why does this look a little bit different than the other one? I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. What? Up on oh. that piece with the scaffolding. What the heck? Right, get, get out of the way, guys. This is interesting. Let me just scan everything because we're gonna need it to understand this stuff. But yeah. Alright, let's start this thing. I'm sure this will not end terribly. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. Okay, cool. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Alright. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Uh... Well, it goes deep underground, too. Search for a glyph to scan? Oh, so we gotta actually, like, look around for it. Okay. Where do I look, though? Oh, shit. Up there? Oh, god. Alright, we're gonna have to go all the way up there. Oh, come on, Ryder. There we go. It's slippery, but there's a great view! 
could be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. I don't know someone who wanted to know what this is. Okay, let's solve this thing. Okay, we got that. So do I go down? I'm kind of scared. Do we just jump down? Okay, here we go. Alright, cool. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. What does that mean? Dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Hello? Uh... Back hi? Or I will push you down! It's an Asari Whoa, lady! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. Girl, you're riding on me! <laughs> I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle. Nah, I'm not gonna push cameras. her off. I'm kind of. It's going to be all right. It's cool. <laughs> Trust me, okay? Uh, okay. Girl, did you just I touch know, my tit? What? <laughs> who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Yeah. Okay, you're kind of cute. Oh my god. Okay. Is she romanceable? God, I'm gonna fucking stroke. Because you guys told me I can romance Vetra and I can romance Suvi. Those are the two that I know. And Liam too, the, for female writer. Those are the three that I can romance so far. I have a feeling she may be one of them. I, I'm just getting gay vibes. I don't know. Okay. Um. What about you? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. I like her outfit. What the F is that? Wow, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Uh... What oh, the crap. fuck is that thing? What? Girl, what's happening? Oh. Oh, these are the machines we saw! I know these things! Yeah! That seven. Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! What the? Okay, this is bad. Yo, bro. What the app? They look like 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 I don't know octopuses. It's kind of creepy. Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. Remnant. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So the remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Peavy? Okay, um, nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Uh, so we have to follow the thread. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure, just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Yeah, I kind of got that. Are you gonna come with us? Cause, uh, you know... I wouldn't mind if you came with us. You know, I, I'm not opposed to that. I don't know about these two, they might be opposed to it, but I'm not. Okay, let me get all this stuff first. Okay. Alright. Where did I park the car? 
Where's the nomad at? Hello? Where did I park it? Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we're explorers, so... Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? Do you need to ask? <laughs> A woman after my own heart. She's fucking gay. Follow my next point. <laughs> Figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Asari are kind of like... They're, they're, they're more like a gender fluid and sexually fluid too, right? I mean, if we, we've learned anything that... Liara, mother and father are both like women, quote quote, but like you know what I mean. I I, I can I get the sense. So yeah, you're definitely gay. Um, anyway, <laughs> how did you get here? After what happened with the outpost, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. Had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else, or let people see how rough it got. Sad, but there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. I mean, that's true. Remnant bots. The bots were saying you had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing. And breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. Yeah, I guess so. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my hundred days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. <laughs> it's a name. Good enough and short enough for now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Does anyone else camp out on yours? There's the cat, Clancy salvagers, one angry old man. Angry old what man. What do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish cat and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Okay. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. <laughs> but long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. Uh, alright, talk to you well, later. I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Alright, PB, you're kinda cute. Um, you know, uh, don't know if she can join us later, but, you know, if, you, if you're available, call me! <laughs> alright, let me get in the Nomad, and... So... Looking at the map, it seems like... How do I zoom out? There's two other monoliths that we're gonna have to drive through, right? Okay, so we got some some side stuff. I do want to get to this memory first. I feel like that's very important. I can uh, get over there. Wait, which way is this, though? This is so weird. I guess it's this way. Because I want to make sure we get... I know I'm not gonna get everything, but I'm gonna try my best to get all of, like memories of Alec because it's so important. We need to know what all of it means. Do I have to get out of this? I guess I do. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to pick this up though. This is important. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes. Though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Alright, so... Okay, so we got that. And I want to just make sure that's like kind of like a case closed thing. Wow, that was that could have ended horribly wrong. <laughs> I miss being able to give directions by what used to be there. What are you even talking about? Turn where the chip shop used to be. That's a hometown. One day, <laughs> if we do our jobs... This is where Chief Reynolds died. Soundstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Well, uh, is the Nomad f Okay, we gotta do this quick. Zoom is like sliding. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA oh god, what the fuck is that Chief thing? <laughs> Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. Oh. So the Chief became Karkin food. 
Can I run these over? Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece okay, we can't and the armor tool us, may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. What the fuck is that thing? Bitch, what? Oh my god. All right, we gotta we gotta keep scanning though. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Hang on, I want to scan this. What is that? Scourge? There's a scourge in there. And then what is that thing? Like, I know it's gonna attack me, but like, I want to scan it. Earth had formations like this. Made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. Okay, here's another one. Somewhere here. Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece. Confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. He's the innocent. The chief's tool might shed some light. Okay, okay. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. God. It's a carcass nest, all right. Fan out. Can we just run them over? Hang on. Hostiles ahead! Okay, I ran some over. That's good. Ah! Oh my god! Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni Tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. Wait, power it? Oh, I thought we were done. God damn it! <laughs> Accessing data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. That's great. That's a relief. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Wait, is that Nilkin? That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Oh, Need another shit! another chat with the man. Oh, no! So that... Oh, God, that kind of complicates it. He, officially, he did not shoot him. But he was planning on murder. So wouldn't that count as attempted murder, though? That's still a charge. He's not completely innocent. All right, we're gonna have to go talk to Nelton later when we get back to the Nexus. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. I hope right. so. This is our element. I like that you're being positive, Cora, which is kind of funny because out of... The two so far, I really thought Cora would be the one who's always negative, and it kind of seems like Liam is, low-key. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. Oh, PB. <laughs> they won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Alright, cool. I'm glad we're gonna have to fight them. Okay. How do I get up there safely? Alright, time to get out. It's rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Radiation within safe levels. Oh god. Life support at 100%. Wait, is that a shield? What the heck is that? Thing?
Damn! Just dropping everywhere. Okay, that's not good. Wait a second. How do I switch my weapon again? Oh fuck, I forgot how to do it. Here we go. I forgot that I had a sniper. Oh, this shoot's weird. Oh. Okay, I'll hang on. Come on. Reload! Okay, uh, this is kind of bad. This is a bad angle. Well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. How the f do we do that? Oh, that side. Wait. Uh. Can I like? Yeah, I was gonna say. Can I just jump on top? Oh my god! I thought I fell off. That was scary. Somewhere over here. That one. Get to it before there's any more cat. Um. I like how no one seems phased by this. <laughs> Is that Krogan? Hello. Um. The 
Nexus. Impressive entrance. I'm just gonna answer him. <laughs> Andromeda Initiative. We're not here to cause trouble. So you say. I mean, I'm still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Oh, Writer's Keeper, her cool. I like this. You can call me Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They I don't blame you. Yeah, we've heard. Well. We've heard. What are you doing out here? Uh, holding our own, exploring. Checking out these monoliths. The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You said I didn't save any for you? Nexus knows shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. Are you? I've been quiet. I'm not even gonna ask. You do your thing, Drac. <laughs> Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <sighs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drac. Yeah? I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. I mean, I don't really blame Good, him, like, the way I'm that they were treated, bored so... Of the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. I'm glad everybody's Brand noticing. It? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Alright, see you around, Drac! Glad he didn't kill me. <laughs> he seems pretty cool, though. All right. Um, don't know what he was digging for, but sure, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else I can scan besides the obvious. Oh, it's not over there. I'm just gonna try to scan as much as I can, because I think uh, we should be doing that. Scan from- He seems fun. <laughs> I mean, he's a Krogan. They're all fun. This is just the other way? Okay, this is just the other entrance. I guess there's only one building. And it was this. Uh, okay, why does it seem like a... This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Yeah, this is like the they, they, they host like experiments in here or something. Oh, what the hell? He was tortured. Nexus didn't mention anything about this. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Anton, Darren T, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. They we'll really do. Oh, God, sorry. Some more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Okay, let's see what we got in here. We got Nero. He's the a field log pathfinder issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. Yeah, as fucked up as it is, we do need to hear that more often so we can get the language down. Um, uh, only the title of this message can be clearly translated. The rest is written in a cap script. Only a few cap words can be translated without more language study. Partial translation, lesser species, unremarkable, and disposal. Talking about humans, so they're not- To them, we're not any use. Make sure I get everything. At least as much as I can. So we're gonna need it. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, I expect to fight like what PB was saying, but the remnant just kind of come out after we activate it. Okay, let's find these glyphs. All right, probably I if up I get anything there, else, right? Scanner. climb something. Oh, here we go. There's some platforms here. It must be where I can jump. Okay. Alright, here we go. 
This is something. I could never do this if it were me. You got one. Is there another one? Not here. So... Maybe that one? That's outside the safe zone, though. Okay, that's that's a little bit concerning. But yeah, I think it's that one. It has to be. There's another platform that I can jump on there. Ah. Alright, Ryder, come on. Radiation levels normal. You should now be able to interface Pathfinder. Interface successful, Pathfinder. All right, that's two of three. Whatever that did, I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, are we not gonna get attacked? I, that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, captured notes? Only the title of the can be clearly translated. The rest is a mix of cat script and notes written on the Milky Way language. It appears Ket did the data mine research from unknown source, some fragments. Fired at it for fun. It only takes a few hours to sustain fire to take off the chunk. Those observers started to. Out of the shovel, this stuff is heavier than it looks without biotics. It's really trouble. Last time I drop in on my kicked over sensors again, getting to cover those white bonnie jackasses aren't. Can't understand this one. This lesser idiot by tomorrow and Krogan. Oh, so they do know the term for Krogan. Interesting. Okay, a lot of you guys were telling me that some of the notes that we find uh, will update over time. And I'm assuming it's the stuff from the cat. It will update when we learn more of the language, right? I think that's what you guys are referring to. So I'm gonna have to remember to go back and like look at some of these just so that I know. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? It sounded like a car. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, like those doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. Ooh, yeah, that's true. How many times have Shepard like disobeyed everything because? Uh... Look there. That spot has shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy cat presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. I hope so. The Site One folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Okay, I don't think I can go this way. It has to be around that hill. <laughs> oh god. What the F is all that? Oh, this is the remnant. Okay, that's not Watch good. Out. Remnant. Yep, see them. Gonna have to fight them. I'm stuck. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Great. This is interesting. Oh shit! Hello? Are we fighting? Are they just scanning us? Look, do we- Okay! Never mind! Shit. That was a tough one. Like the main oh god. I'm I'm gonna die. They got Cora! Bruh. Okay, wait, wait, I 
like, I just need to heal like a little bit. Oh shit! Cora's down. Cora's fucking down. if I did or not. Right now. <gasps> them Jesus Christ! That was so close. I almost died. Sorry. <sighs> I'm off. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right, 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 right. Yep, we're good. That was scary. I thought they were friendly. I guess they're not. The hell? I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. Alright. Lexi, found another colonist. We need more of those symbols. Oh, interesting. wonder if I get anything on the scanner. What is this thing? It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. Okay, let's get the let's get the thing first because like so many things are happening, but we need to get the symbols first, which I assume is up there. If I can get up there somehow. Oh no. Pavlov, Amira S. Got it. Thanks, Ryder. Yeah. Need to use the interface that controls this. Nice work. Oh my god, please! <laughs> Alright, I got it. It's okay, it's okay. We're cool, guys. Whoa, what the hell is that thing up there? Fuck? Okay. The next one is up there. Okay. Don't know what that thing is. Oh, there's more controls down there. Okay, I can I can do that. That did it. Yeah. All right, and it's up here. Got it. All right, now we can use it. Should be enough glyphs. So I have to unlock it, right? By using the glyphs that we found. Okay. Uh, oh shit! Wait, hang on. Oh god! Face failed. Oh shit! Defense systems engaging. I didn't know what I was doing. That I should have just pressed it willy nilly like that. that stupid. Hey. Um. Whoops. Let's try this again. Decrypt the remnant column by assigning glyphs to the grid. No row, column, or highlighted shapes can be included in the repeating same glyph. Um. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it has to be a different pattern? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I hope. In the same row or column. Okay, hang on a second. So this is completely different. This has to be something else. That. Okay, that's different. Oh god. Uh, this is different. Okay, this looks different, I hope. That looks different. All right, let's see if this works. Ha! Okay, I got it. Nice work. Kind of like that puzzle. It's pretty cool. Can't drop shit. What the fuck? Seriously? Can't catch a break. What the?
We're good. Is it just me, or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, they really want it. They really, We're really so want close. it. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We... Oh, no. No! Damn it. The remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. Yeah, so they were saving what any data they could in case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try is us. Yep. We are the next try. So we gotta go to that spot wherever that is. In the water? I think it's safe if I just- ah, fuck it. You keep your head under fire. <laughs> I figured Asari only got that calm after a few hundred years. You can get there in under a century if the right focus is drilled into you. So... bake one hour at 300 degrees or one minute at 3000? Well, yeah, yes, jump exactly like that. There. Coming out of the lake. The tech's underground, too. Let's see. Ooh. It's opening up. I see a door. Come on! Where's the- okay, we're coming! Oh, this is so cool! Whoa! It's... forming a bridge. Oh, there's BB! Looks solid. <laughs> she made if a not, glass. prepare to swim. Okay, don't say that, because I really don't want to. Whoa. Let me sc can I scan things, or are we just not scanning right now? I guess not right now. This is interesting. I was gonna ask why PB's not wearing a helmet, but I'm like, wait, she's a sorry, so maybe they they have more resilience to that. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Why the fuck did it ask me that? No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? Maybe it's not empty as There's we think. There's some secret here. There must be. Do your Pathfinder thing. Okay. Oh, you're good. Girl, I did not do anything. <laughs> uh, should I flirt with her? <laughs> and I make it look so easy. How far down do you think it goes? Only one way to find out, right? That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. Fuck it! I'll let you know. <laughs> hey! Look, we came this far. Why why hesitate now? Cora, are you coming with us? It's like an elevator. That's what it kind of looks like. Acting like a gravity well. Whoa. But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. I mean, we did leap now off this of here. Is more like it. Looks like a bunker. Whoa. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Okay, this is interesting. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Yeah, what the fuck is that thing? Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. Yep. You go ahead. I've got your back. Thanks, Cora. Okay, nothing so far. Oops. What's in here? Whatever, just take huh. all we can get. Well, if the remnant aren't using it. Right. <laughs> I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. I hope it does. How out. the hell do we get out of here if You're it doesn't? You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor the controls. Wait, what the fuck? This one's floating like that. It's a different color. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. 
All right, let's press this thing. I'm sure this is safe. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Oh, God. The conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could Fluid? be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. Fluid? I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Okay, yeah, sure. This is kind of scary. Oh, here we go, that thing. Whoa. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault? But you can. That'll get their attention. Oh, 100% get their attention. Three is recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. Hmm. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. Wait, can Minor I use this? No. Detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Okay. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are... I didn't mean to cut her off, I'm sorry. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. Okay, I I trust- I don't think she's like gonna do anything bad, but I don't know about splitting up because we don't know what's in here. You don't watch many horror vids. <laughs> right, exactly. We have no idea what's down there. We could die we never will if we split if we up. miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Okay, you too. Ten credits say she ends up in the pit of spikes. <laughs> Liam! <laughs> okay, um, yeah, you know what? Let's see if I can scan anything, because this seems... This gravity well is sealed cool. off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. That thing? This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep okay. a note for our Thanks, sorry Sam. friend. For when we try to explain all this. Can Contact. I go? It's well, you know who. Yeah. We I... read you, PB. Stay in touch. Can I go in here? Like, do I want to go in here? Oh shit! Or or not? Okay. Ow. Okay. I thought I could jump through that. I guess not. Never mind. I just had to try. I was curious. Anyway, let's go this way. dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Huh. Can I scan anything here? Oop. This is neat. Like scary, Whoa. but neat. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. That is definitely the only way not water. Down towards it. Oh, there's some remnant like down there. Field. That might be handy. Unknown alloy and other materials, the composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe Omnigel? that's the fluid and the conduit. Omnigel? Wait, is that safe for me to stand on? Okay, uh, yeah, looks like it. It's dead. Nothing. I bet they used it working in that liquid. Probably. Let's go over this way first. Oh. 
in the scan so far. I see all the remnant. I'm just kind of scared to get near them because, like, they're 100% gonna fight us. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Should we start shooting now, or wait till they kind of like, you know? Rocket! I guess we just shoot them. Literally, no, no other choice. Don't fall in that liquid. Emergency shield. Found that out the hard way. I thought it was coming closer. Here's the pillars for cover. Man, my aim is ass. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I almost fell in. Holy shit, dude. Sorry, this is a little bit overwhelming. Oh my god. And I haven't even leveled up yet! I completely forgot! differently it's just the vibe of like this gameplay is so much more different than than the original mass effect trilogy it's not a bad thing it's just me getting used to it it's gravity wells let me just um let me level up myself <laughs> let me get the barricade thingy because i feel like that's something i actually need combat do pull uh Do more damage. Okay. What? We gotta get rid of the assembler box because they're the one that's creating more, so. Careful, don't fall in that liquid. It burns through your shields. Found that out the hard way. Attacking the the assembler bot, so they were building more. It was getting overwhelming. All right, cool. All right, we got something here. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Um, just gotta make sure I don't fucking fall in. Processor. What is this place? This looks like, you know, what it reminds me of the inside of the Geth of Legion was showing Shepard? Kind of reminds me of that. Okay. Okay, if I'm getting items, I will take it. That is fine. Another aqueduct. How many do they need? If it really oh, is like really. Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end. Okay, we're gonna go there. Up there! More remnants! Gotta go up there the assembly bots. Watch the edges! Way ahead of you! Eyes up! 
Don't let them get above us. I missed! Fine. So some assembler bots gotta be main priority because they're the ones who build all of them. So I gotta remember that. Okay, let's keep moving. I know I can run faster. I'm just going slow because I'm I'm scared I'm gonna run into an enemy. So I'm just trying to take this with like precaution. Baby, Ryder, that relic box I found, not hey. a symbol of authority. The remnants still shoot at me. I'll try it with one of those data patterns we saw. Okay. Is that a good idea? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> I don't think we have a choice in this. We kind of just have to go with it. I feel it like. It would take years to tunnel a place this big. And good reasons to build it. Yep. What's in here? Give me some items. Yep. We could use all this. Alright, let's go into the big scary door because I'm sure this is safe. Okay, um what the fuck? That's one way to light a room. Oh, okay, cool. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. That is true! The other one wasn't that big. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Okay, let's keep moving. This is so cool. Oh, there's gonna be remnant in here. Great. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well. The well's sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power, same as before. Let's get rid of these things sorry. first. Take them out! Yep, I'm sorry. I know they didn't really attack us just now, but like... Like Ryder just said, better safe than sorry! You're sure this well isn't gonna open up under us? Pretty sure! Focus on the remnant! Devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the world to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. The remnant are just full of surprises. Shame, shame they're hostiles, they're highly territorial, what we're done here. They're just brainless bots? I mean, I don't know if they are. Let's just say they're highly territorial. They get mad when we get close or interface with their tech. Interesting. And is it programming or some sort of instinct? All these mysteries. Something big is happening in Andromeda, Rider. Something magnificent. Something interesting. Let's find that system lockdown. Okay. okay, let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. Oh god! Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Okay, that's... That's a little bit concerning. Um, yeah, let's just go... Dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Ooh. Around the time the scourge appeared. That can't be a coincidence. That's what Maybe I'm saying. This is all this connected. Was abandoned? There's a reason for all of this. It's just scary to find out what. Oh, crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Ew, Careful. Cares. No way you can interface with the console like that. 
And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. The conduit's breached! Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omnitool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? Uh... And... Received! Yeah. I'll give them a shot! Might as well try. A gauntlet, or maybe a hand tool. Our scientists will love it either way. So, um... How do I do this? Fix. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice cool. Work. All right. Good job, BB. The console should work now. All right, let's uh press this console. Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? <laughs> You've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. Oh, okay. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. Does this door open now? Yeah. Holy shit. Will you look at that? Whoa. Okay. This is new. There's trees? Is that a tree? How do we get across? That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned, but wait, hang on a second. That is a tree, though. Okay. Whoa, holy shit, but I'm gonna do it. No guts, no glory, right? Wait, plans. The way down here? You see them too? I thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source Wait. of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. I was gonna say maybe they get life from the that omni gel like liquid? I don't know. This is really weird though. What the fuck? Okay. Glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. <laughs> Company! Oh shit. Where's the. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Get that one, get that one. enough. Let's keep going. It made a new path. I think that's the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Oh, we gotta go back. Okay. Um. Observers coming up at us! I'm fucking serious. Harder than the original trilogy. Right. I think we're okay for now. So we got a backtrack. Is that what I? S okay. Uh. 
god, that was way too Armor close. Hydraulics compensating. Oh, that bit slippery. It's a bit scary. We're gonna open this door? No. What is going on? All right, um. Too far, even for jump jets. That's so cool. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> it really is it's so neat. Okay, um, all right, let's go over here, I guess. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. Oh. It must be close. Power source? No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. What the fuck are these things? Oh, this is so fucking cool. Okay. All continents converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Alright, let's pray that this doesn't kill anybody. Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. Danger but soft if it's back the online, we should be good. What the fuck is that? Wait, that was what Alex was remember when they pushed them off? Should we? We should ride. Go! That's the same one. Oh god, wait. Run! Baby, get back to the entrance now! I saw it! What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Eee! Watch okay. out, Ben! Okay, 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 this is not good, this is not good. Why did I look back? <laughs> I don't know why you look back either, dude. Okay, okay. Too far to jump! Got another bridge? Let's go! Would be wise to escape, Ryder. I know, Sam. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Like as if we're we're not trying to do that right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God! Ah! Keep running. Oh no. Yeah, we got no choice. Take it, take it, take it. It's still coming! It's sweeping the whole vault! Kills anything in its way! Yeah, like us! We need to get the fuck out of here. 
I wonder why though. Is that part of the scourge? Is is that the scourge itself? That's the door. Oh, shit, it's almost there. The barrier's gone. Get that thing if you want, but it's going to be close. I don't even know what we were getting. I just ran. <laughs> we're almost clear. Where are you? Hello? happened <laughs> what was that field might have been sweeping the vault or chasing us an immune response yeah i was gonna maybe say it's, maybe it seems startup? like something like that this place is full of surprises i was crazy and i'm gonna say we barely escaped because i was pretty fucking close we have to be more careful that field almost disintegrated us but it didn't you want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated yeah i know pv but like jesus Recovering lost console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Oh. Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Wow. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? I mean, can we uh, can we know for sure? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. We're gonna have to take a wild guess. So of far, we've could seen be. bots, living plants, atmosphere mm -hmm. processors. Mm -hmm. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help it support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, it, it's it's possibility that they could be, be used to like make worlds better, but we won't really know. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. Oh, well, we got a chance. A foothold. Something. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. <laughs> We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Okay, you're in. <laughs> Can I rely on you? No, what? I, I like Phoebe. Like, her way of thinking is a little bit different. She's kind of like, just go in and have fun and also take risks. We kind of need that if we're going to be exploring worlds and finding a habitat for our, our species. So, yeah. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear. That'll do. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Well, yeah, look at the sky. It's so much more clearer. It's 
so cool. Now we did for it. our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda right here. So I'm glad we kind of figured out what these vaults are. It seems like they can control how the atmosphere is going to be on the planets. But it's the reason, like, why were they like that to begin with? It's related to the Scourge and definitely to the Ket. And the energy source itself is what they are after. And I wonder why that is. But yeah, this is all so interesting. And then we met Phoebe and she seems really cool. So... Yeah, I'm excited to, to go off into the next world that we're going to. I don't know where exactly it is. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of things to like assess and go over. So I'm looking forward to see what will happen next. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect and Drama, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Thank you.